Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to show you a completely custom built trailer. Uh, one of the funnest process, processes that I really like to do is sit down with the customer, completely walk through exactly what they want, bounce ideas off of each other. Um, for this instance here, this gentleman was out of state, so we did everything over the phone. Uh, we, we share pictures, we share videos of different options. He shares some ideas with us, we do the same with him, and then we ultimately just kind of continue to tweak and just fine tune this trailer to get it to be exactly what they want. So this is a 2022 Cimarron Showstar LX. So this thing has a lot of options on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing of this trailer first and foremost. So with it being a Showstar, this is actually a 12-pin setup. Uh, the most common is a 10-pin, but this one here, he needed the extra pin, so we went with the 12-pin. We put a little bit bigger tack room on it. So if we look at the trailer itself, it's just under 32 foot. It's 31 foot, 9 inches long. It is 6 foot tall. It's 8 foot wide. We went ahead and put a 6 foot 8 front dressing room on this. So the bigger dressing rooms have become more popular over the last couple years. But we have done a lot of stuff to this trailer. This is a cool trailer. It is decked out. We did about everything imaginable on this trailer. So let's, we're going to work our way through it. Bear with me. We're going to maybe do a little bouncing around. Because it's got so many options on it, I don't want to miss showing you anything. So we're going to start at the front and just work our way to the back. So one of the very first things is, is this customer put a lighted sign on the front. He put his brand in there. Underneath the gooseneck, we enclose the front end. I've got it rolled up right now. It's really simple to use. You roll it down. It really protects everything behind here, uh, which I really like from the standpoint of uh, a lot of the options he put on this. So this is an air ride equipped trailer. So first and foremost, this is the, the onboard compressor. It's all self-contained, really simple to use. You turn it on, you put it in the raised position to go down the road. You turn it off, you roll it to the lower position and then clear the air line here to get all that condensation out of there, which at the winter time is really important from the standpoint of getting rid of that stuff so we're not you know, freezing lines and, and cracking those and creating air leaks. Um, so again, really simple to use there. We've got a battery box um, up here. It's got a battery disconnect as well so we can kill all the power to this trailer when it's not in use. Electric over hydraulic jack with the manual override. So if we get in an emergency situation where we have to get this off a truck or onto a truck, we can with the manual pump there. And then there's brackets for generators on this. Uh, he could put a generator, he could do a auxiliary fuel cell if he wanted to. Um, we had to locate the spare up a little bit higher, uh, but you can still get a gin down below there. And then again, when you enclose this, it's gonna protect all that behind there. And then also we put a switch with a light. This is a 16 inch awning light that shoots down off this enclosure. And there is some diamond plate around it as well. And I really like that from the standpoint as you're backing up and you're hooking this trailer up at, at nighttime or unhooking it or doing anything under here with that light, I mean, it really reflects off of this and it kind of lights up the whole back of the truck. And then again, this area that we're looking at right here with everything behind this enclosure. Now on the air ride, you know, I always tell customers is, is load your tack and load your animals when it's in the lower position. And the reason why is, is it will actually raise this trailer two and a half inches. So when it raises it, um, you know, we get more angle on the, the ramps itself, making them a little bit steeper and then also bigger steps getting into the trailer. So load all that equipment, load all your animals, and then put it in the raised position to go down the line. These enclosed front ends also give it a nice, sleek, finished look to it. Cimarron's usually come with an 8-2 nose, so a little bit longer than most uh, you know, tra trailer manufacturers out there. But when we do this enclosure, we actually extend it to 9 feet, so it gives this, this nose a little bit more length. Uh, so we can still have a lot of bed clearance when that tailgate's down walking in between there. So as we kind of step back and look, you'll notice this is a fully polished. So the stainless sheets 
on the whole tack, the nose, it'll be on the side ramps, on the doors, on all the drop windows. And then I want you also to notice he painted the top rail and the bottom rail of this trailer white. And then we did all the door frames, so ramp, ramp doors, rear doors, drop windows, man doors coming in from the other side, everything is painted red. So it gives, I mean, this trailer really pops. Now, as we go into this front tack area, like I mentioned, it's a six foot eight, so it's a little bit bigger than the standards, but we're noticing a lot more customers are wanting these tack rooms to be a little bit bigger. And what's so cool about this setup is, is we have a ramp going in on this off side here. So on passenger side, and then we've got a man door coming in. Um, but this is great from the standpoint of this is gonna be kind of a dual purpose trailer. So it's a 12 pin and I'll show you when we get in the staller, it's got a traveling gate. So with ever equipment they're wanting to haul, you know, having these side ramps makes a big difference from the standpoint of not having to lift that equipment up in, in here. Optioned the head pads on all these door entrances. You know, on these low profile trailers, it makes a big difference. I mean, we will all occasionally get in a rush and go running out of the, one of these trailers and forget to duck and boy, having that padding is really nice. As we get in here, We'll show you, he added, he added a couple AC units to this and wanted power throughout it. So we went in and we put a, 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 a 30 amp breaker package to this trailer. That way we can run the ACs, run the outlets. Um, also you put a, a 12 volt converter on here. So when you're plugged into that external power, it'll also charge the batteries up. You'll notice on the side walls here that everything's lined and insulated. Uh, one is he wanted the insulation just to keep things a little bit cooler, but when we deal with those stainless sheets on the outside, you have to line and insulate the inside. And the reason why is you've got to line it because if, if we throw some equipment up here and it hits that sheeting on the side, it might not look as bad from the inside, but when you get to the outside of this trailer, it's going to be glaring. So we want that little bit of added protection. Uh, by having that sheeting on the inside. So again, fully lined and insulated here in the tack room on the side walls. Every Cimarron comes with a standard insulated roof, so it will keep this area a lot cooler. You've got your plexiglass storage tray up there to the right. I'll show you where that plexiglass is on this trailer when we get back to the stall area. Over here to the left, we've got a shelf with a clothes rod. I mean, we understand you, you know, kids are going to be taking change of clothes. So this is a great place to hang it, store some stuff. There's a lip to it. And below it is a, is a boot box. We only went partial way across this trailer. It's easy to hop up into the nose with this, but also for some miscellaneous items there. And then again, there's our man door coming out of this. Whenever we're dealing with a front tack room and you want to ramp into it, uh, I am going to strongly suggest that you put another door on it, whether it's this pass-through door that goes into the stall area or this man door. And the reason why is, for safety purposes, if that ramp shuts and you're in here, you can't get out. So by having one of these other access points, you know, that's really key. We want to keep, you know, safety in mind. But this is a fantastic door here because now we can prep feed, we can do some things we need to and then hop directly into that stall area. Carpeted that entire wall, put some nice big utility hooks. So these aren't your standard bridle hooks that you see on a lot of trailers. You know, they incorporate it from the horse side. Uh, Cimarron does use a similar hook for their bridle hooks on their horse trailers, but this is a utility hook. So they've spaced this out. They've made them a little bit deeper off the wall and then also our height as well as far as that depth goes because we understand that bridle hooks are a little bit smaller and we understand you're going to be carrying big extension cords and hoses and boy those really don't you know fit well on these but these utility hooks the way that Cimarron's designed them you know they're a lot stouter. These are aluminum uh, powder coated so these are nice and stout hooks as well. And then we put two rows of the airliner track on here you can get some hooks and then they're adjustable throughout here. I really like these from the standpoint of now we can take some of that bigger equipment. Maybe it's an upright show box. 
maybe it's a fan cart, maybe it's a blower cart, and we can actually hug it up against this wall and then ratchet strap it down so it won't move. We added a couple LED lights. We did switches on both sides. That's something we've been incorporating on these trailers with these dual entrances. Uh, the reason why is we understand that maybe you've got equipment in here on one side of it and then you're dropping this ramp. Well, normally the switch is on the other side. So we wanted to have the switches on both sides. So whichever door you want to come in, you can turn those lights on. One thing that he added was a few more marker button lights, which really dress this trailer up at night. I mean, it, it, those LED button lights are a lot smaller. They do put off a lot of lighting. That would, you know, really su surprises you when you turn this guy on at night, how well those guys really do shine. That is standard on the 22 models. We just went in and added him uh, some extras to really dress it up. And then also two 16 inch awning lights on the side as well. One centered in this tack area and this this uh, uh, stall ramp, and then also one kind of you know right above the wheel wells there, um, back in that area. You get a lot of light coverage. This is a longer trailer. Adding a few more lights is something that's really beneficial. Here's our side ramp going into the stall area. He added a gate that goes over this opening which I'm a big fan of because we understand that a lot of these shows are showing off of these trailers. Um, by having these gates in here, you know, we can turn animals loose, have everything opened up, trying to create a little bit more airflow through there, not having to worry about things, you know, jumping out of the trailer. So at, adding these gates was a, was a nice little touch he did on both sides. He made these a little bit taller than the standard, which I, I get, um, he's gonna be showing a lot of lambs. So having those vertical bars and a little bit taller, you know, lambs aren't gonna be trying to jump out of there. Now let's get into kind of some of the, a little bit more of the custom stuff. So let me just go ahead and shut a couple of these drop windows. So these aren't the standard drop windows that you see on the Cimarron LXs. These are actually made at the factory feed doors. This is the same concept, the same framework that they do on their drop windows of the horse trailers. These are a lot stouter than the, the prefab drop windows that you see on these LXs. This is definitely an upgrade, but boy, these things are big and heavy duty. These things are really gonna last. Then you get your welded hinges with greaserts on this style as well. You also have the jail bar feature that we see on the horse trailers. You can drop these guys down if you'd like to, to really open it up. Um, but again, for animal safety, having those there, you're not having to worry about anything attempting to hop out. So I'll get those guys dropped down a lot bigger, a lot stouter, like I was talking about. Um, really nice feature. It definitely is an upgrade, but I am, I'm a big fan of these windows right here. Lower air gap has the aluminum fold down slat. You'll notice the plexiglass there. I'll show you on the inside what we're talking about when we get in there. Uh, but this lower air gap is really beneficial from the standpoint of, you know, dealing with smaller animals or even dealing with the cattle. You know, everything, chest floor and the cows down low, that's their radiator. We want to get that air down there. Uh, small animals, they're down lower, so we need to get that air down there to them. You know, if we open up those vents, you know, air can just come right out these windows right here when we're going down the road rather than if we open this up, forcing that air down there to them coming out the side of the trailer. The other nice thing about this is, you know, you can, you can have this closed up on a really cool morning when you're leaving home and make a quick pit stop and you can literally run around this trailer and get these guys open and shut very quickly. This is one thing that we highly suggest and we do this on all of our living quarters trailers anything eight foot wide, anything really long, but that's that amber turn signal. Uh, we like it from the standpoint of as it works as an additional marker light for you, but it also indicates. So it'll indicate when we're turning, it'll flash. Uh, also in brake, it'll indicate. You know, these are longer trailers. A lot of people don't pay attention. So uh, we just like putting that in the middle of these trailers just as one more indicator for, for everyone around us mainly is what it is. So this is an air ride trailer. 
So these are two 8,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles with the air ride system. So it's a shock kit on rubber torsion axles and then we've got the air ride compressor itself. So if something happens to a bag, a line, that compressor, it sets down on rubber torsion axles like most trailers and you can still go down the road and get to where you need to to get, get things fixed. The old styles, you couldn't go anywhere. Upgraded to Alcoa wheels. These are 16 inch. The Alcoas just look really sharp. They shine up really well. And then we went with the 14 ply tire since it's a little bit bigger trailer, uh, a little bit more, you know, rubber underneath there. Uh, the green cap indicates that they are nitrogen filled. They are balanced as well. So nitrogen fill makes it to where the PSI levels can't fluctuate drastically uh, compared to air. You also have one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires through Lion's Head, who Cimarron uses. You catch a nail, you have a blowout, you catch road debris. From the day you purchase it, you get that one year, no questions asked warranty. Um, if you have an issue, take some pictures of, of what happened, the codes on it, and send it in to Lion's Head and they'll send you a new tire within a couple days. But you know they, they stand behind the product from that standpoint there. But I'm telling you what, that air ride makes a massive difference in the ride. Um, not only for you pulling the trailer and you in the pickup, but mainly for the animals. I mean, it is a game changer out there. These animals will step off this trailer fresh. Uh, you won't need to leave as early. It's not putting as much shock to their joints as we're going uh, to the shows with rough road conditions. So if you have any questions on that, uh, you know, ask some friends that have those trailers. Uh, a lot of our Cimarron's will have that air ride sticker located somewhere on the back of the trailer or around that wheel well. You know, go talk to them and, and get their feedback. I, I'm very confident that most customers will tell you they will never own another trailer with, without air rides. I mean, they are hooked. They love it. They love the way it pulls. They love what it does for their animals. Um, and if you want some, some referral, I mean, we can get you in touch with some customers. We'll have them give you a call. You can give them a call and, and they will gladly share their stories with you about Air Ride. So one thing that we suggested to him, and we've been doing this on all our inventory trailers, is the wraparound hinges. So the standard on these, on these show stars is the doors actually butterfly off of this trailer. But we understand that you're showing um, off this trailer quite a bit. We get to arenas and different events and, and fairgrounds and we're all kind of crammed together. So there's not really that room to get past with our animals when the doors are winged out. You almost have to unlatch them, swing them in and then get by and then do the same. But we like the wrap around just to get them away uh, and wrap them against the trailer. So now as we're parking closer to people, you can get by. Opted for two 16 inch awning lights at the back as well, more light coverage dual 50-50 ramps on this. And again, what he did was is, and I'll, I'll shut one of these doors here just to show you. But again, fully polished all the way around and then painted again, all the door frames red with the top rail and bottom rail white. But again, there's that wrap around hinge that gets out of the way. And then on the rear ramps, he wanted it to match even when it was closed. So again, the polish sheet and then the red framing around the drops. Those are 50-50 ramps, as I was just showing you there. So you can open one ahead of the other. They don't have to both be down or, you know, the full width. These are actually kind of nice too if you're dealing with um, maybe some real youngsters uh, just getting started showing. Not to say that that big ramp can be, can't be opened and it's heavy. It's got some spring assist to it, so it is pretty user friendly, but these are a lot lighter weight as well when we do this. But now we can run those individual doors and the individual ramp. And then there's some of those rear gates again, a little bit taller, just making sure, you know, a little bit more uh, kind of protection of animals trying to hop out of this trailer. More head pads as we come in here to the stall area. And I'll walk you through, because this thing's got a lot of extras on it. So first and foremost, again, this is a 12 pin setup. These are adjustable. So 60, 40, 50, 50 setups. You'll also notice on the roof, the two tracks and stored up against 
our partition wall is a traveling gate. So now if he wanted to use this for some show cattle, he can remove some pins and then roll that gate back and set it between each window. There's locations to lock that gate into. Uh, these are really simple to use. I could, I could remove all these pins in this trailer here in about five, 10 minutes, um, putting them back you know, you're more like kind of 15 to 20 minutes just to get them lined up and exactly how they need to. Uh, one little cheater I like to do is actually start at the very front and just take a really good, you know, black Sharpie and write on that first post one, two, three, and as we work our way back. So when you go to put them in, you know exactly what order they go into this trailer. Uh, but here I'll show you a couple different things. First is I'll, I'll demonstrate. So right now we've got this entire setup at 50-50. But this is a really simple process to make this change. All I have to do is release the gate and swing it over. And now I've got a 60-40 with an alleyway set up. So very simple to use. I mean, you can literally do it with one hand. It is not difficult at all. And it is super quick. And then obviously our gates go different directions. So again, if we're coming off the side ramp, coming off the back, we can kind of weave animals in and out of here if we need to. They op uh, opted to put worm flooring on this trailer. He did a black and red mixture here. So with this, um, on these, on these you know, smaller trailers as far as uh, smaller show animals, on these show stars, we really don't recommend mats because of all the posts and everything notched. We've got to notch all those mats and then it's like a puzzle when we go to put them back in. So we, we highly recommend either going with worm flooring like this that's permanent, unpenetrable, or going without mats and just bedding really well. Uh, the reason why is again, it's gonna be a puzzle putting all those back in there to where this, this is a lot simpler process. You can literally just power wash this trailer out. I'll show you on these center gates here, we did two rows of feeder rods so he can adjust you know, feeder height Obviously, early on in jackpot season compared to late in the season, you know, the animals are getting a little, they're, they're growing, so they're getting a little bit taller, so we can adjust that. We did that all the way down on this. And I mentioned up front there that plexiglass tray. So in here, we've got a plexiglass insert. So this is, this is a kind of a newer feature uh, that we've been seeing a lot of. Again, you can, you can fold down that outside slat and remove these. But this just helps for more of like the wintertime type uh, traveling because you know that, that uh, fold down slat isn't 100% airtight, watertight, to where this plexiglass just kind of helps a as a little bit more of a barrier as well. And then he opted to completely line and insulate this entire stall area. So again, we have our insulated roof that's standard on every Cimarron. Kind of did some messing around here at the lot yesterday. We put some uh, thermometers in some trailers, horse trailers that were all sealed up. It was about 100, 101 here yesterday on the lot, but this asphalt, you know, conducts a lot more heat. And the the competitor with an aluminum sheeted roof, at the end of the day, about six o'clock, is about 118 degrees in that trailer. It's where in the Cimarron is 102. Now again, it was all sealed up. We're not getting the airflow in there. But think about that. I mean, it was almost the same air temperature as it was outside, but that insulated roof makes a massive difference. And with this, having all this side insulated, it's gonna make these two air conditioners that he put in this trailer more efficient. Um, if you put an air conditioner on one of these trailers, it's really only gonna kind of blow cold air. But when you line and insulate these trailers, it makes a big difference. It will cool it off in here actually, and keep it a lot cooler for your, for your animals. Um, so you cop, cap it off with the roof that's standard, and then we do all that, that side sheets. Again, it's gonna make a difference and make it more comfortable you know, for the animals itself. So again, we've got two ACs. We've got that 30 amp package up there, but you'll notice in the top rail, we've got outlets kind of throughout and, and kind of down this, this whole trailer. So now as the rat shows, uh, they're wanting to maybe prep some animals in here, get them ready to go to the show ring. They need to do something. They've got power throughout this trailer. Um, so they can just plug anything in there. 
Also in this traveling track, they could look at adding some brackets that go into that track. And we can put some additional fans in here if we wanted. Uh, a 12 inch barn fan is kind of what works best in here. You know, a 24 inch, you gotta think about when it, when it comes off of these uh, rails and hangs down, 24 inches is gonna hang way down there where a 12 isn't as bad. We can put a little bit more pitch to it. They work a little bit better on these trailers. But that's already there because of the traveling gate. So we can add that in there if we want to. And then there's roof vents throughout, two-way roof vents. So again, we can manipulate some of this airflow, you know, grab air, force it down. Winter months when that heat rises from their bodies, you know, we can release it back and just get rid of that warmer air as it does rise in here. But a lot of extras in here. Um, you know, he, he didn't skimp on, on much back here of anything. This is an extremely well-equipped uh, show star model. And again, with incorporating it with that traveling gate, he can cross over that, you know, comes that feature usually is on our steer walt models or our lone stars, depending on what, what model and kind of what setup they want. Uh, but the traveling gate and then those pins being able to remove them just gives him a lot of flexibility on, on using this trailer uh, for multiple species. And he can do it multiple species at the same time with having that feature there. So as we work over here to driver's side, there's those drop windows again. Again, that creates a lot more airflow. That is also a bigger opening compared to the standard. Uh, so yes, it is an upgrade as far as money goes, but again, they're a lot stouter, a lot heavier duty. They're gonna hold up extremely well, but then again, it opens, it gives us a larger air opening so we can get that airflow in there. I mean, I always tell everybody on a real hot day, with no air, it is brutal. But you get a little breeze and it makes a big difference. It makes you feel a little bit better. Another access door going into that stall area. Additional gate over it. And he put steps on both these doors, I'll show you. And then he even painted those white so they kind of blend in with that, uh, that lower rail there that's painted. But that's another access point. It has a drop window in it as well. Um, sometimes this is just a standard window on some trailers, but having that drop in there, again, just creates a little bit more airflow getting in there. And then there's our access door jumping into the tack area. Again, another fold up step. As you're carrying things in and out, they make a big difference. Again, if you're traveling with some youngsters, that's a, that's a pretty big step up there from the ground. So having those steps is a nice feature and a nice upgrade, especially when we're dealing with eight wide trailers where you're not getting that running board as a, as a step. And then on the actual tack door itself, combo lock. So you don't have to have a key. You can just lock that combo, send somebody to the trailer and they can run out and jump in there with having the code. So as you can see this, I mean, this is a sharp trailer. You're definitely gonna see this one coming uh, with having that painless or, uh, uh, stainless sheeting on this. All the, the painted framework, the painted top rails. So I'm gonna give you the stock number on this trailer. You can reference it. If you want something similar to this, we can completely tweak this trailer to whatever you want as well. Stock number on this one is five in. 210293. It's a 2020, excuse me, 2022 Cimarron Showstar LX. This is a 12 pin with a floating gate in there, fully polished, painted. This is an extremely well equipped trailer. Uh, I'll go ahead and get it shut up. That way we can do kind of a quick walk around. That way you can see how sharp this trailer looks. But if you got any questions before we do that, Give anybody on our sales team a call. That number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.